Hey everyone, this is Nazicat. And in one of my videos, I made a case uh, in terms of hoarding copper pennies. This video, I want to try to make a case for hoarding nickels. Okay, and as you can see here, uh, the copper pennies, uh, their melt values are about two cents, and the nickel, their melt value is the same as it's worth five cents. Um, and as you can see today, the copper and nickel prices have gone up. And you also have to remember too that nickel is 75% copper, 25% nickel. Alright, so let's take a look at the problem with our uh, coins. Okay, this article here is um, coinupdate.com. Okay, and I believe this is the uh, November 2011, uh, um, I guess it's a newsletter, but as you can see here, uh, it cost the mint roughly around six cents to make, and this was in fiscal year of 2009. Okay, so about two years ago, the government started seeing that it's t costing the mint more money to make our money. Okay, so here's our problem with the government. Uh, their problem is that they are spending more to make the uh, penny. As you can see in the fiscal year of 2009, it cost the mint about two cents to make. And also nickel, it cost them roughly six cents to make. Okay. So then in 2010, if you go to this article here, this is uh, actually from Coinflation. Okay. And this article is titled, uh, let's see here. Uh, Coin composition change included in Obama's 2011 budget. So as of this year, they're trying to um, start on changing the compositions. And I have this part of the article. Let's try to find what he, they're trying to do here. Uh, right about here. Okay. In the article, it says uh, the budget enables the Department of the Treasury to explore, analyze, and uh, approve new, less expensive materials. Okay, so as of right now, what the Obama administration is trying to do is it is basically trying to uh, give power to the Department of Treasury just to find and research and analyze less expensive materials uh, to make the compositions of the penny and the nickel. Alright, so now we know that the government is trying to change the compositions of the penny and the nickel okay and so also here this last um, article this is uh, dailypaul.com and this is uh, the beginning of I believe let's see here beginning of this year okay and there's one thing I wanted to point out to you in his uh, little article here you know, highlight it here for you. All right. And this is as people begin to realize that the coin melt value was worth more than the face value. Now he's referring to the silver coinage. Okay. That's why you have that uh, past tense. Uh, was worth more than the face value. People began to keep these coins, which ended their circulation. Now again, he let me just uh, reiterate the fact that he says that um, when the people began to realize that the coin melt value was worth more than the face value. All right. So going back to coinflation, we do see that happening right now, that the melt value is worth more than the face value. Okay. So now um, we do have a case for nickels. Now again, we can't melt them. So this melt value um, doesn't mean as much, but the fact that the melt value is more, or the metal value is worth more than um, the face value, then that's then definitely we have to start hoarding it. Okay, and then if you think about it too, if you hoard all the nickels and you remove uh, the nickels from circulation, okay, and the nickel becomes uh, harder to find, it's going to also increase in value.
because the demand of them are going to be high. And now collectors might want them, um, and I, I I don't know what else they might be possibly. I mean, in a survivalist standpoint, I'm not sure if we're going to have nickel as a trading medium. So it looks like it's going to be mil value, or or should I say and or uh, the government changing the composition. That's how we're going to cash out on the nickels. And uh, in the proposal uh, in the 2011 budget, they're still trying to research uh, on new metals. So it's going to be a while for them to change the composition. But you know what, though? They are going to do it because it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's costing them too much money to make. So based on all of this, you know, hopefully I've uh, made a case for all of you uh, people out there to hoard your nickels. Because um, we know that, again, it's going to cost, it's costing them too much money. And we know based on the 2011 budget that uh, it's uh, the Department of Treasury is trying to find uh, less expensive materials. And we also know from Ron Paul that um, as we start seeing the coin, uh, that the coin's melt value is greater than the face value, people tend to hoard it. All right. So based on all of this, I am going to uh, hoard my nickels. Now, am I going to buy a box of nickels? Not really. Um, what I'm just going to do is just keep them in the change. I'm going to sort through uh, my change, keep them. Uh, and, and store them away. Um, you know, I got some uh, jars from my protein powders that are pretty much empty, so I can just start uh, hoarding them there. Same with the pennies, too. I'm going to hoard them. Now, I mean, if you're going to sit there and say, well, which one should I hoard the most, the copper or the nickel? You know, I, as an investor, I would just do both. All right, But if you had to concentrate on one, I would concentrate on the copper. And... Eh, copper pennies and here's why because with the copper pennies the the metal composition has already changed okay now the um the, the pennies are now 97.5% zinc so the the metal composition has changed already so that's why I if I had to focus on one it would I would focus on the copper pennies because of the fact that the the composition has already changed. Nickel hasn't changed yet. So, I mean, who knows how long it's going to take um, the Department of Treasury to find uh, less expensive metals. And who knows how long it's going to take for the implement implementation of the new composition of nickel to take place. And who knows when uh, Congress will lift the ban on melting nickels as well as the, uh, the pennies. So with all of this, um, I definitely will ho start hoarding nickels. Um, in one of my videos, I, I showed that I got rid of the nickels. I'm going to start collecting them again. And again, I'm not going to buy boxes. I'm just going to, whatever change I got, I'm just going to toss the nickels aside. Uh, with the copper pennies, probably the same thing too. Maybe I'll buy a box. Because 25 bucks versus, uh, was it $100 worth? You know, I don't have that much money and as an investor I don't know if I can park a hundred dollars just strictly in nickel I mean when I see nickel uh, I, I, in, a, in a hundred dollar box I'm like mm, that's a hundred dollars I could buy silver I can buy uh, one gram of gold something like that so that's the investor side talking to me uh, so and, and again you know that's why I keep on telling you guys uh, rethink about your investment philosophies because that's what's going to keep you straight uh, so, hopefully this, guys, this uh, video really um, opens your eyes on nickel and nickel hoarding. Uh, for all you nickel hoarders out there, keep on doing it. For those who are skeptical, just do it. You know, you get getting change. You know, you'll get nickels in there. Just go ahead and just set them aside. All right. So, if you guys have any uh, comments or uh, questions, go ahead and leave them uh, below. And uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you guys like this uh, it just encourages me to do more you know and again you know i i want to be an informed investor and i want you guys to be informed that's why i start uh putting some of these articles and 
I will put their uh, links uh, in the description box uh, below so that you guys can do your own research as well. And, you know, I, I supply this too because of the fact that I don't want you guys to sit there and listen to me and take my word for it. You know, I'm doing research as well. You know, and I learned this in, in school. You know, you have to have s sources on uh, backing up what you say and what you think. Uh, and so hopefully these uh, sources are uh, are uh, good enough for you guys. Um, if not, then you can always continue to delve deep and, and dig out and, and do more research. Do your due diligence. All right, don't just invest, just to invest. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will uh, talk to you soon.